Hi there, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live, yeah. How are you doing? Trust you are good. It's a beautiful morning here, and I'm glad to be here doing this with you. Um, we're having the train right now. Book publishing secrets. Book publishing secrets. What you need to know as it regards book publishing, as it regards publishing your book faster. And in this particular training, I'll be exposing you to some things that some bucket secret that entails in book writing as against the popular idea that you have about book writing, that maybe book writing or book publishing rather it's something that takes a whole lot of time and something that you need to have big and plenty knowledge about. In this particular training, I'll just be sharing with you three basic things you need to know when it comes to book um, publishing. Just three of them. Three of them. Just need to know three of them as those three are the basic things that you need to have at the back of your mind when you want to publish your book. Okay, so you just have to flow with me and let's do this together. All right, if you are listening to me, can I drop a comment there? Tell me your name, um, where you're coming from, where you're looking at me from, rather. Yeah, okay. Book publishing secrets, it's gonna be so 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 amazing. Okay, in just one minute, we start off. Yeah, we start immediately. Next one minute. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so book publishing secrets. Let me let you into an insider secret the, about how I started my own book. For a lot of people here, you already know what it is all about. And most people know my secrets. They know my stories. They know how far I've come in this particular field. And how I've been able to do my book publishing in the right way. I've done it in the wrong way before. You know, I learned from it. And as time went on, I was able to grow and learn from my mistakes. And glory to God, today uh, I can say confidently that I'm a book author with class. I'm a book author with the source. I'm a book author with the experience. And I also help people um, achieve that on a sweet and greater level. Okay? So today... Like I said, I'm going to be teaching you just three steps that will take you on how to write your book. Three basic steps, okay? And in these three steps, they are the steps that once you just have them at the back of your mind, you don't have to stress it when it comes to writing your book. You just don't have to stress it. With just these ideas, with these three things I'll be sharing with you, I bet you, you will definitely get the result that you seek. Okay? So let's delve straight into it. Now, back then in 2015, yeah, I think 2015, I was teaching in a school and I wanted to become an author. I love authors. I love authoring a book. You know, there's a feeling that comes with when you hold your book and um, you are able to just do some magic with it. You are able to just, you know, tell people, tell the whole world that, hey, come, I'm now an author. You know, it's, it gives you a kind of feeling. So I wanted that feeling too. I love authors. I love it too. And I log on to Facebook then. And I hear people say, okay, my book is out. I'm launching my book. Come and join me. Come buy my book. You know, those things were right there. In my head okay so I also wanted to join them 
but there was a problem i don't know how i never knew how to author a book i don't know how to write a book to make the matter worse i had no laptop yeah and i was using a phone that um the phone basically was i think i've shared it here nokia touch lights then a small phone like that and the way the phone is so small is that the way the, the, the phone is very worse when you call me <laughs> i have to take the phone hit it on my palm before i can hear the ring the ringing tone and even hear you when you speak it's that bad so i switch on to using my mom's phone also not care but our own could browse so i installed facebook there i was able to browse using facebook light you know then so what I did then was anytime I want to write, I'll just type it and the phone has a disadvantage. Once you type anything you want to type and a call comes in, just forget that write up. It's gone. Forget it. It's gone. So those were the things I was battling with and I was like, okay, at least we'll, we'll, we'll scale through this. We'll get over this and all that. But then as time went on, I began to discover a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. But before those times, remember I wanted to publish a book at that year. It was my wish. But these things happened in the line. I had no laptop. I needed to publish this book. I don't know anybody to run towards. And I need to just do this thing. So luckily enough, where I was teaching, I usually, I had a girl that I usually take tutorials after school, just a mirror classes. So this girl was passing by one certain day. I was in my house. She was just passing by. And I called out to her. I said, hey, Ruth, come here. How are you doing? I recall that, I recall that her brother was a cyber cafe owner. Yes, the, the brother runs a cyber cafe. And cyber cafe then, you know, you have to go there. When you go there, you pay to browse, you know, those kind of things were still involved then so i went there spoke with the brother and then i was earning just six thousand naira as salary six thousand naira so i went there met the brother and explained to the brother my situation that okay i'll be coming here to use your system to type my book and by then i'd already bought an exercise book that i was writing i was writing the book there i was writing the book was writing so the book was done but um I wasn't satisfied. I wanted more. That's why I went after him to just get it typed out and all of that. So I got there. We reached a bargain that, okay, I'll be paying him 2 k every month. And you remember, for someone, an average Nigerian, earning 6000 naira per month, you should know that that kind of money, before that money comes, you've already spent it. You know what I mean, right? Cool. So that was the situation. Before the money could arrive, I had already spent the money like maybe you borrow these you take these on credit you know this kind of lifestyle now all right so those were the realities those were the realities so as time went by i was going there after school i would go there to type 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 and the truth is i never attended a computer institute to date i never attended everything i know today on my system or on computers i learned every single one of them myself i learned every single one of them myself all right so once i was able to do this i i was happy that at least i'm making progress i'll go there i'll chat i'll type i'll leave and you know there's something there's some one magic with your hands once you are typing sometimes the thing will be flowing more will come you just keep putting more keep putting more even beyond what i already had in my book so I kept on writing, I kept on writing that way. All of a sudden, the book was done. Like, I'm over. I've done my part in the book. Now, I needed to publish. What were those things that I need to do in publish? I don't know. I don't know any single thing to do for my book to get out there. Like, I just don't know. All right? So God blessed me with some friends then. A friend offered to help me with the book um, publishing. A friend to help me with the book cover design. Simeon Taiwo, he did a book cover design for me at no cost. 
at no cost. So when he did the book cover design for me, I was like, okay, that's another battle. I've overcome that one. It's not remaining me. It's left for me to just, okay, go ahead with the whole thing. I reached out to a friend. A friend connected me to another person. And this person said I have to bring 70,000 naira. Then, for me to publish my book. And the, the deal was that once I pay the 70,000 naira, he will help me put the book on um, some site where people can download it i get the link so i was excited okay wow so my book we also have that international standard you get you know that kind of feeling now all right so that was what was in my mind i was ecstatic about it i was so so happy but then when i mentioned seventy thousand era all my hormones that were aiding my laughter that were aiding my excitement they died down yeah well, should I see such? I was earning 6,000 error. And 6,000 error, if you take it out of 70,000 error, which is not even possible, I can have the earning 6,000 error per month and take that, that monthly salary to give to somebody. Uh -uh. Not then, not then, not then. But I've done it before when I use a whole of my salary as um, to pay for a course. I've done it before. But now we, we budget things, all right? So... Then I was like, okay, how should we go about this? I forgot the man and um, I went on with my life. So I put it out there that I was launching on March 29th. People were excited for me. Wow, I call her the launch a book, blah, 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 and all of that. I was so happy seeing the congratulations. I thought that was what all authors felt, all right? So I was happy, so, so happy seeing the congratulations and all of that. So people were congratulating. Wow, beautiful job. You've done a good job. I love the covers. I love this. I love that. You know, those kind of times you make a post to go back there to go and start reading people's comments. It's not me blushing. Ah, God, this is me. So my thing. And did I tell you that while I was writing that book, after the first time that I wrote the book, it got deleted by one of the apprentices. The sec I wrote it the second time again. That same book. That I wrote the second time was formatted. They don't know how. I remember because I was computer illiterate. I didn't. I never knew much about computer and all of that. All I knew is press control S when you are writing, and you save automatically. But then I don't know that you need to still save in some places like your flash drive and any other thing like that. I never knew this. So my book that I wrote myself got deleted. Two times. Two times. It was the third time that I said, okay. In fact, I already given up that maybe becoming an author isn't meant for me. I, I already give up. Literally, I give up. I'm not writing a book again. Nothing concerning me and book. Me book day, you make I do my own. All right. But then I must start the courage. Look at the money I've spent, the, the time, the energy. Sometimes I will live there by night. To go to my house so it was very hectic so i couldn't just let all of these things go away so if you see an auto please respect them it's not easy hmm? it's not easy all right so the third time i was able to write this time i had knowledge that okay once you write copy that file in at least three different places so that was what i was doing until the book was done right so i was re i was ready to launch the book march 29th March 28th, I didn't know how to compile the book. In fact, me, the author, like me that wrote the book, I never had a copy. Remember the kind of phone I was using? So the copy was um, Bro Mike. That's the person who wants the cyber cafe. That's the person who, that's my copy. <laughs> he said, if I want to read it, I'll just go there and say, okay, I'm blushing, reading my own book and all that. You get? So... It just went on, it kept it kept, it kept going. March 28th, how will I compile this book? What do I know that is a book? I just called a bro. I say hello, bro, Samson. Help me put this thing on your website. I put it there. I sent the doc file to him. But because he was also writing exams, he had exams that day. So it was like, okay, just took the copy and put it on the website straight up without um maybe converting to PDF. I don't know what PDF means. I don't know what EPUB means. Then I never knew what um, even Dogfire. I didn't know what it meant. I was like, "Sure, you have type." 
I send it to people, Jerry. Your book is ready. I was so happy. I was so, 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 so happy. Okay. So, March 29, everybody was downloading Dogfy. Until one person now caught my attention. I gave it out for free. And that's where authors need to watch. I gave it out for free for the following reasons. Number one. That was what I was seeing other people do. Yeah. I was seeing other people give out their first book for free. So I felt, okay, it's a norm. Let's go there. Let's keep doing it. I think this thing makes sense. you right. As an author, you see, let me tell you. If you don't have an objective for your book, you fail fast. You fail. So my own was, I just want to drive joy. Okay. So I gave out the book for free. I was happy. People were saying downloaded. At least I saw about 50 to 100 downloads. That people were saying downloaded, downloaded, downloaded. I said, ah, cheap. So they would read my book and get results. And then, before then, what, what, what inspired that book was, I, I developed a formula then. And the formula I used it, it was working. In fact, I taught the formula in 30 different schools. 30 different schools in open states then. I taught the formula there. So I was like, okay, let me take this formula and compile them in a book. So that was what I did. And I was happy about it. So people were downloading book doc file of my book. Nah. <laughs> Until one day, after like a year after, I still never get sense. I lost another one. But before then, I was already started selling the book. A doctor bought, I was like, oh, this book is in dog fight. I was like, dog fight. I didn't understand. I was like, yes, it's in dog fight. It's in dog fight. I was like, eh. I said, yes, it's in dog fight. You can go ahead and read it. He said, it doesn't have the app. I said, download the app. Remember, at this time, even myself, I don't have the copy of my book. Like, I don't have the copy. For me, for them to say, okay, yeah, this person is uh, is doing well, though. at least he has written a book. Okay, let us see the book on your phone. I never had a phone. <laughs> I never had one. So, I was like, just went by. Until I later had sense. The second book came out of, it was God all the way for the second book. And how? That is why as authors, you need to learn collaboration. Collaboration matters. Like, it really, really does matter. Collaboration. You need to learn to collaborate. So the second book came as a result of me. Then, um, I, I had, had written the book. But then, I don't know how to go about it again. Like the first time. So I saw somebody that was writing about a particular concept. That I would love to be in my book. So what I did was I reached out to him and told him that, hey, hello, sir, good afternoon. How do you do today? I would love to feature you in my book. Look at how God works. I brought this man in to be a co-author in my book. And guess what? Never, I never knew this man was a publisher. So he took the book, literally. He was the one that compiled the whole thing. I edited the book. He added his own did everything, put it in PDF, and I was like, wow. So, there is a book, and there is a book. Like, there are books, and there are books. If you see books, you know. You know, the, the way he did the internal layout and everything, I was like, wow. So, these things are the things I need to know. Then I went on to Google and YouTube. I started learning, started learning, started learning, and here we are today. All right, so that's just a bit of my own story, okay? And for me to get up to this point, so for you to become an author, it has gone beyond those olden days where you have to have plenty of steps. They will list 20 ways that you need to get your book done. Number one, this I have just brought everything to three basic steps that I need to take, then we'll be Talking on another concept that is very, very important. Another point I want you to take proper attention. At that point, I want you to stop whatever thing you're doing and just listen. You need to listen here. Okay, so what are the three basic steps that you need to take if you want to author a book? 
What are the three basic steps that you need to take to author a book? All right, so I'll be sharing them with you now. Now, if you have definitely for anyone that wants to author a book, that person definitely has something to tell the world. You have a solution. You have you have discovered a problem that okay, this problem, if I can provide a solution to it, is going to help a whole lot of people. Then you want to just tell the whole world about it. You want to share your own thought about it. And also, as you are sharing it, you are building for yourself a life of impact, influence, and income, all right? So, there are just three things here. Since you already have the idea, you have the content ideas, the very first step that you need to take for you to author or write your book is this. First, get the insight. Get the insight now what do i mean by insight now for me i can write a book today and finish it how let's assume i'm writing on relationship per se and as i'm writing on this relationship my goal is okay in this relationship niche this is the problem i want to solve writing for this particular niche okay once i'm able to to identify the problem, I have the insight already and I can see exactly the problem people are facing. I can see exactly the kind of content that I need to put in together. I have the insight. That's all you need first. You need to have, okay, in one word, what is your book solving? What's the problem your book is your, your book is solving? You can simply tell them, okay, my book is solving the problem of this and that. Okay, that is the first aspect. And I can tell you that the book I'm writing, like if I want to write a book today, the book is basically for relationship. All right. So once I'm able to identify and have that insight, that's the first step. But a lot of people, they, they, they go too big on this, that they start writing, okay, um, I just thought of this now, I start putting this together until they get demotivated and not go forward. So the first step, you need to have insight. Have insight about the book. Have insight about the audience. Key. About the audience that you are targeting. Now, when I say audience, you need to understand that not all book content settles for all. See, let me tell you this. You are not the savior of the world at all. You are not. You are not Jesus. You are the savior of a special part of the world. A secluded part of the world yes the goal is to go global but then you must be able to solve problem in your locals that will take you global all right so at that point you need to have an insight okay who are these people that can read this book who are the people that this book is meant for all right so you just have to know these people and by knowing them by knowing these people you cannot begin to tailor your insight towards them Let's say I'm writing a book for a relationship. I'm not writing for couples. I'm writing for singles. I have that at the back of their mind. When you have an, when you have the insight that you are writing for a certain audience or age bracket, it helps you to narrow your thoughts, and that way you don't get everything too cumbersome for you to begin. And why a lot of authors quit is simply because they feel overwhelmed. Like, oh, so I have to do this, I have to do this, and do this, and do this, and still do this. Man, I'm not doing it again. All right? So, they have that. It, give, it gives them it gives them that overwhelm. So, they just leave the whole thing and say, they're not doing it again. All right? But then, yours should be different. You need to have an insight about the book you want to write. You need to have an insight about the target audience. That you want to write about. Then always ask yourself this question. Always ask yourself this question. If after 10 years. Will this book. Remain valid. If after 10 years. Will this book remain valid. Let that question always ring in your mind. So when you are writing. You will know. Oh, If this thing comes by. 2050. This thing will not remain the way it is. Yeah. Ask, 
Write a time-tested book. He, there are some books that now they are raining because people already foresaw what will happen. They wrote about it. And today, we are celebrating their books. You can also do the same thing. So the first thing is have an insight. That's the first thing. The second thing that you need to do, this is where you have the work to do. It's called the outline. You need to start outlining. Now, in outlining, let me start with you this way. First, when you the interface of your book is you have your book title page where you write the book title, um, relationship is a beautiful thing, this is this you get. That's for the first page. The second page, you can leave it blank or you still write something there, maybe the title also. Now, following that should be either your dedication or acknowledgement or your preface. There is no one basic arrangement for that. You can just take it as you want it. But then you can start with dedication. You dedicate. Who are you dedicating the book to? You write it there. Okay, I'm dedicating to my father, to my husband, to my this, to my dad, you know. You dedicate the book to someone, all right? Then, once you're done with the dedication, the acknowledgement. Now, this acknowledgement is where you mention everybody that has become a good tool for you to get the book done. You mention the people that have helped you in getting the book done. You thank your husband. Maybe when you're writing the book at night, your husband will feel like he wants to get closer. And you feel like, darling, I'm coming. I'm writing a book. Those times, you have to include that. Darling, thank you for those times that you want to do. That I don't have time. But now, I'm done with the book. You need to appreciate. Let him feel that. Eh? So, you know what you were doing for me? Then, again, let him feel that. And same thing goes for the man too. That, babe, I mean, just calm down. I need to finish this book. You understand? You need to appreciate them here at that point. That's acknowledgement. Then, you appreciate your publishers too. Appreciate your editors. Appreciate people that contributed. And if maybe you created a survey on Facebook and you were able to get people's um you're able to get people's information about something you need to include that okay i appreciate so so group if you have a member maybe a community mention them there you know when people see their name or where they belong written on a book it gives them joy i personally personally i love it when i see my name on the book and glory to god the ones i have personally read i've been able to see my name in more than 16 books more than 16 books i have not seen others but the one i've seen not only an acknowledgement form so it tells me that okay i'm doing something right all right that's not what we're going today so at that point you need to appreciate people for the acknowledgement um please then forward now this is where a lot of people get it wrong forward is not or should not even stop you from pushing your book. One thing about forward is just that it's an endorsement that, okay, I endorse this thing. So most people, what they do is they go after someone that has the result, someone that is influential. Maybe you are writing about a, about a particular niche and you have somebody that already has um, the insight or somebody that is a leader in that particular field. You can simply... Go and meet this person and let this person be your guide. Let this person write on the book and endorse it. You cannot put it on the back. Okay, forward written by so, 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 and so. But then, maybe if you, you are not able to get anybody to do that for you, it, don't, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't stop the book from coming out. It shouldn't. It's necessary, but not compulsory. Your forward. Then when you write your forward, you depending on the kind of book you are writing. Remember, you have non-fiction books and fiction books. Depending on the kind of book you are writing, that's where you need all of those things. Some books need prologue. Some bo um, some books need some some we even write poem at the first um, pages. You are cool. See, there's something you need to know about book writing, and that is be creative. There is no one cap fit all in this present day that we have. If you want to start your own book. And only write the title, the most straight to the content. Nobody, I repeat, nobody will hold you to it. See, when you're writing a book, you need to be free. You need to free your mind. You need to be creative. You need to come up with new things. You, no one tells you to keep doing it the way every other person is doing it. No. No one is telling you that, okay, this is where we do it here. So if you also want to get the results, you have to do it like this. No. See, 
in the line of success, creativity is allowed. In the line of success, creativity is allowed. And before you can be successful, you have to come up with your own strategies. You have to come up with your own creativity. Fine, innovativeness is good. Be innovative. But then, do not conform to a singular pattern. When you are not homologous series for the chemi- for the science student that used to miss chemical, you get, see, you have to be creative. It is not necessary to follow a regular pattern. No. Tweak it. Twist something. I wrote one book. Was it not? I think that was last two months. I wrote a book. And I, I usually write books. Sometimes I write it for an organization. Sometimes I just write it for a set of people and just share it to them. Instead of me writing those acknowledgments, dedication, and all of that, after the content, after the title, I went to the table of contents. Did I write table of, no, I didn't write table of contents. I didn't. I just went straight to the title. I've never seen a police officer in my house. Though. Nobody has come. Nobody has ever showed up that um, I'm a police officer. Why didn't you do this in your book? Oh, you need to come out follow us to the station. I said, oh, calm down. You see, I was creative with it. And people loved it. The fact that it is a, it was an easy flow. One chapter leads to another, to another, to another. And they were able to get the juice. So be creative. Be free. Be free. But if you know you are convinced or you are confused about it, let an expert view your book. Let an expert view your book. So we are still on that outlining. Remember, you have the insight already. That's the first step. So once you have the insight, you now need to outline. You outline your book. You outline the content. You outline um, everything. So I've taught you the, the, the processes that we can follow. That's from your title to dedication to acknowledgement to preface to forward. Then to the table of content. You arrange your table of content. Then you now move. Introduction also. You now need to move about writing. So you enter into the main phase. See, at this stage, remember you are writing here. What you need to do is focus on your table of content first. Forget dedication. Forget acknowledgement. Forget all those things. Remember, you want to get the book done here. All right? And you are under that outline, the second rule. Outline your book. You only need the table of content. And listen, in this table of content... When you are writing, you do need to have everything perfect. You don't need to have everything arranged. The thing is, remember the first thing that you, have, you need to have insight. The insight you have will tell you that, okay, I have insight about my audience. And this set of people, they love to discuss about this. Let's, for example, the book I'm writing on relationship. I'm not writing the book on relationship now. I may write later, but not now. I'm talking to singles, all right? And I can say, okay, singles, they love. Why do singles Especially all these teenagers. Why do they love to stay in the dark to talk? There must be something there. You know, it's a controversial thing. I'll bring it in. That, okay, see, I can give it a name and then give it one, one definition that suits me. I can put it there. It's for me to be creative, all right? I can say, okay, as singles, one of the, these things they discuss is that should we have sex when we are dating? I can put it there. It's a topic for discussion. It's a topic for what? For discussion. I can put it there to discuss. These are the things that people buy. Because you are solving a specific problem. These are what they buy. Okay? So, I write that. Then I also look at, okay, what has studied about my audience? The target audience is that they love... Um, they are always in conflict as to who to actually choose to date. In, in that state, they are double dating. You come up. You can write a, uh, maybe the title of the chapter, double dating, yes or no. Now, people want to read that, hey, let me know what I can do on double dating. And one thing about book writing is this. They see you as the boss. Your words matter. Bef- because they are reading it in a book. They give you that respect. So as authors, you have, some, you have a, a power that most people do not have. You have authority. I'm telling you, you have authority. So, once you are able to list that out those things, see, again, be creative. Nobody is telling you your maximum table of content should be four or five or six. No. If your own is 50, and you know it is only when somebody goes through these 50 things that they can actually achieve the results that they want, please go ahead and do it. Now, let me tell you the brain. 
behind table of content. Table of content is just like a step by step guide to achieving a result. Now, you are writing a book for me. Okay, the book I'm writing a relationship. And I say, okay, what I want to solve is the problem of how to attract the right partner for a relationship. I can start with, um, what can I start with? Mindset. I can start with mindset, then go on to understanding yourself, go on to emotional intelligence. I'm listing out those steps that can take anyone. Remember, your book is taking people from their current reality to their desired reality. Your book is taking people from their current reality to their desired reality. So what are those steps that will take your reader from their current reality to their desired reality? Those steps there are your book chapters. You get it? Beautiful. So we are still on the outline. You write all these things out. Once these things are done, once you have your insight, you have your outline, then the last part of this is start writing. Very simple. Start what? Start writing. So when you start writing, you already have the insight. You already, for each chapter, you know what inspired you to write that chapter. Go ahead and write it. You can start with a story. You can start with anything at all. This is a free word. Be creative. Be, you can start with a quote. Be creative. Don't do what other people are doing in 1960. You are writing for 21st century people. So you have to also think like them if you want them to listen to you. If you want them to listen to you. That is why olden days, they don't care. They just do any book cover design that they like. They don't care. But this time, do any wrong cover and see if we will buy. You think uh, we don't have eyes? Or you think we are like in the 1960s? Man, this is 2020. 2020, Lawaii. And that means you need to do things like somebody in 2020. And in 2020, even though you have experience of the ages, you are ancient of the age, or ancient of this, whatever, you need to do things like we are doing it now. Okay? Do it like we are doing it now. Nah, thank you. <laughs> so, those three steps. Insight, outline, and write. Just start writing. Give yourself a target. And say, okay, on Monday, I must finish up this book. And these are the tools that will help you to get in your book done faster. One of them is your recorder. Your recorder. <clears throat> because of our busy schedules and all of that, we tend to... We, we, don't have, we don't have the time to just sit down and start writing. Let me teach you. Get a recorder or your phone. Go to your WhatsApp. Open a group. Or you open a group there, let that group be dedicated for your own book. You are the only one in that group. You can add someone there to, you know, for fairity and all of that in quotes. Then when you are, when the person is there and you are also there, you can remove the person. You are the only one there. All right? Just click on that voice note. Listen to it and say, okay, this is what this book is talking about. Or this is... The idea that jumped on you when you want to write about this book. Record your voice note. Then simply send to a transcriber. If you cannot, if you don't have the time to do the job, send to a transcriber. Once you send to a transcriber, you get your book back from the transcriber and you can keep going ahead to start editing the thing yourself. This is very easy. Very, very easy. Record, send to a transcriber. If you don't want to send to a transcriber, there are some transcribing apps that you can use that they will help you in ensuring that your book is well transcribed. Some are paid, some are free. You can find them out on Google, okay? Then you can start writing. You can start writing. Do that for all of your chapters. And before you know it, your book is done. Very, very simple. So these are just the three steps in getting your book done. Now, once you have followed these three steps in getting your book done, I need to dwell on this particular part. Please listen here. This is where you need to take heed. You need to listen to what I have to say at this point. You need to listen. And what is that? Book marketing. Book 
marketing. Book marketing. A lot of people suck here. That's how you receive loads and loads and loads and loads of congratulations. People will congratulate you, be smiling, but your bank is not smiling. Your bank account. Fine. You are not writing for money. You are not writing for fame. You are not writing for anything. But you just want to bless life. Fine. It is your objective that should define what you what you do. What is your objective? There are just three. Is that you are writing for influence? You are writing for impact? Or you are writing for income? You can't but write for at least one of them. <laughs> you want me to give you examples of transcribing apps? <laughs> okay. Um, you can use speech notes. Speech notes, you can use it. You can also use um, speech to text. Just go to Android, your Play Store. You can get the speech to text. I think that's enough. You can go to Google and ask <laughs> for the rest. All right. So, marketing your book. See, this place is very important for authors. This is the rules you follow. Let every of your conversation reflect your book. Let every of your conversation reflect your book. You are writing a post connected to your book. You are singing a song connected to your book. You are t- telling a story connected to your book. There was one book I wrote one time, Living an Intentional Life. Before this book came out, in all honesty, I had already made correct six figure from it. Let me hide the, the main details. Correct six figures from that book. And how did it happen? You know, I was feeling myself all the while. Before that book came out, the first day I had the idea that I need to write the book, I just went on to Facebook. Wow, I'll be writing a book on so 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 and so. Few people liked it. Tomorrow I can come here and say, ah, book writing is not easy. When you're writing a book, you have to do this, you have to do that. You know, I was taking them through my journey. I was letting them understand that in this place, I'm writing a book. So there was a time that I was writing the book and the fire got lost. I still told them. So they follow me. They know me. And people love to know about something. When they know about it, definitely they are going to want to be part of it. And that is why if you are selling your book and anybody buys, please beg the person to post about it. Because some people will not partake in something unless they see other people partaking in it. That's the, that's the truth. That's why you see, even yourself, you see, people are not buying that book, Jerry. Don't let me worry about it. But if you see people rushing it, like, what are they rushing in this book? Let me buy. Let me give you a, a good scenario. Let's say I wrote a post. I wrote two posts. Now, these two posts that I've written, because you like me, you like my brand, one post had 10 likes. The other post had 500 likes. In all honesty, which one will you read first? Which one? You read the one with the 500 likes because you want to belong to where others belong. You'll be like, for this one that have 10 likes, it means people do not buy into the idea. Let me go into the 500 likes. You go there. That's how it works in marketing. Okay? And if you can, get people. I'm still coming back to train on book marketing on its own. I'm still coming back. If you can... Let people talk about your book. Even if they've not bought it, let them talk about your book. Imagine all of you, like 10 people, talking about one book. And one person is saying, it like, it seems for this, even my friend to even talk about this book. It means this book has sense. I need to buy. You understand? So, when you are able to put that feeling and that thinking in their brain, let me tell you, you are going to make a ton of sales. So, for my own book then, I was talking about it every day. Even the day that I finished, I just wrote, wow, I'm done with my book. I could remember I had um, 300 and something likes then. But for every of those people that commented, I was sending them the link back in. That is where authors make, they make, the, they make the mistake. I was sending them the link. That, okay, you can pre-order the book here. Don't just tell me congratulations. Nah, pre-order. Pre-order the book, yeah. 
I was telling, go and pre-order the book. Go and pre-order. I've already created my paystack link. Don't worry, a day is coming where I will teach about the book marketing. So I'll teach you about the automation systems that you need to have. In these automation systems, you are going to set up everything. So you, you won't have to hire an expensive person. You won't hire me too. No problem. <laughs> the goal is for you to just be, be good. All right. The goal is for you to be good and ensure you are successful. That is my joy. All right. That is my joy. So I'm going to be teaching you about all those automation systems. So I already automated everything, just extracted the link. I was giving each of them the link. And guess what? That night before I slept, I slept with 60,000 era extra. 60,000 Imagine. Just one, a book I wrote. And before I slept, I didn't do any work. The book just said itself. It sold itself like that. And I made my money. I just slept. And I used, I, I used to do one thing, I will tell you. If you send me money around 9 to 10 a p.m. at night, I will not open it. I will see the, you know, it will drop like a notification. I will not open it. But immediately after you send it, I will just push the message somewhere. I will be doing my other things that I'm doing. So once I'm doing all of those things, I will patiently wait till after like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. So 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Uh, sorry, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. I will not go and I say, ah, let me check my account. Once I check my account, I see the money. I say, ah, so me too, I'm making money while I sleep. I'll be, see, all this thing, you don't have to kill yourself on it. They will tell you, make money while you sleep. Have I not made money while I was sleeping? Have I? The day, there was one time a, a guy, a man sent me money at around 1 a.m. His name is he's already he's also in this group. He sent me money. And I told him, sir, I will not open this account. I saw your message. I received the notification. But it is night. Let me go and sleep. So by the time I woke up, nah, I'm going to check it and see that I made money while I slept. Nah. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's, that's just the fun part of it. All right. So you send them the link. When people tell you congratulations, tell them thank you very much. I really appreciate your second sir. But please kindly click this link to pre-order. If you are not pre-ordering, help me share about it. Be shameless. Be what? Shameless. Be shameless. And this is what we are. Be shameless. Don't be shameful of something you stressfully created. Don't be shameful. Don't be shameful. People selling condoms are not shameful. People selling all this mamalao stuff, they are not shameful. Why should you? It's, see, book writing is not my mind. It's not easy. I will tell you. The fact that I can write a book in less time so doesn't mean it is easy. It's not easy. Sitting at the system, thinking, racking your brain. It's not easy. So why should you then not go out there and talk about your book? Why? Why? Go out there, talk about it, talk about it. After that day, when the book finally came out, on the day of lunch, I wrote out the post, put out everything, the sales copy, and all of that. Few people bought, but at the end of, before that week ends, for every single person that liked and commented, that's why book marketing is not easy. For every, I mean every single person, I sent them a message inside their inbox. Thank you so much for liking my post or my congratulation message uh, on my launching of the London launching of my book. I really appreciate you. God bless this, that, that, you know, those things. I was praising them, praising them, praising them. And I said, I would love you to have a look about at it. Then I shared the first chapter with them. If you are not sharing the first chapter, it's okay. I shared the first chapter. You can go through it and who knows, you might want to buy. Before that week ends, my five hundred k. I later told you, my money completed. Yeah, the six figure completed. There's no magic about these things. Yes, prayer is good. You can go to church and pray. Father, nah, nah, I need to sell this book. This book must sell. That day, this book must sell. Yes, this book must sell. But you have to do your part. You also have to do your part. 
So I message all of them, anybody that commented, because they are potential buyers. They are potential buyers. The fact that anybody engaged with your sales content means they have an interest. So once they show that interest, they want you to follow them up. If you don't follow them up, you leave money on the table. And they will do it for another thing. They will use it for another thing. So that's about the brief about marketing your book. Just talk about it. Talk about it. Get other people also to talk about it. All right? A day is coming that will dedicate that particular training for book marketing. Strictly book marketing. And I'm coming in with full force. All right. So one problem people have is publishing their book online. Once you are done with the insights, you are done with the outline, you are done with the writing and of your book, give to a professional editor. Don't edit your book yourself. I made that mistake too. Don't edit your book yourself. Give to a professional editor. Once the book is edited, read it again. Be sure it is well arranged and all that. Then convert to PDF. And once you convert to PDF, you can host it on site like Amazon. You can host... <laughs> you can... You can Host it on sites like Amazon. You can host it on sites like Okada Books and a whole lot of others. There's even one hosting platform that I just discovered and it's amazing. It's amazing. So you can simply just post your books on them. If you want to know about it, you can send me a private message and I'm going to give you the details of that hosting platform. You can host your book there. Okay. You can host your book on that platform and enjoy yourself. And if you don't want to host it, once your book is in PDF, listen to this. Just put it on Google Drive or any cloud-based storage platform. So once you put it there, extract the link, create a Paystack account, connect the link to it. Man, your book is ready. Just send the link to people. So once everybody, anybody buys the ebook, they just get the book direct. You don't have to stress yourself about it. So... This is just the way the, the, the and if you have a website also, you can just put it there on your website, display it there. Always tell people about your book. Be proud of your horseshoe. Be proud of your horseshoe. Be proud. I'm proud of my horseshoe. I can talk about my book anywhere. Well, later like I can talk about my book anywhere. Anywhere at all. I can talk about my book. I I, I am shameless. I'm shameless. I can talk about my book anywhere at all. Anywhere. Okay, so that is just it. Um, thank you for joining. Um, I would like to take your questions now. I'll go through the comment section and take your question. Okay, um, Pamela said, how do I know a title that we sell? Now, knowing a title that we sell comes from the problem the title itself is selling, is solving. Okay, I have a book that book titles that sells. Book titles that sells. If you need it, you can reach out to me. If you, read, if you need the book, you can reach out to me. Knowing the book title that sells, if you know the problem you are solving, then use the words of the people following, the people listening, the people that are going to get the book. Use their words. Now, let's say you are targeting Agbiru. You cannot use words like, um, um, mm, let me get this, let me get this, let me get this. Okay, you are targeting Agbiru. You want them to start behaving well. Oh, okay, who can I use? Okay, you are targeting prostitutes. There are some words that you must put in the, um, what is it called? Oh, in the title, there are some words because that is the word that appeals to them. Those kind of words appeal to them. Those kind of words, they, they sell to them. So if you are not speaking their language, forget it, okay? So knowing the book title that sells comes from the problem you are solving and how you're able to create that title together, that word. Okay, um, Pretty said, all this apply to writing a poetry book. Now, for a poetry book, a poetry book is just you, you have to follow what other people have done, then try to tweak it in your own way. And the way poetry books work is for all the outline, all the steps I give in the outline, they all apply. They all apply. Follow them, then start moving into your poetry. But you can add a tweak to your own. Maybe a tweak like um a workbook or telling them, asking them questions engaging their minds and putting your email there so that they can reach out to you after that way you are building a list yeah you're building it all right so every of these steps that i've shared so far they apply to writing a poetry book any kind of book at all so how do i make people to talk on my book it's very simple to make people talk about your book 
I, if I want to go complex, I will tell you, you have to be persuasive, you have to be compulsive and all that. But then, to make people talk about your book is very simple. Simply message your friends first. Your friends are there, what are they doing? If you have anybody that you have access to, message them and follow them up. That please, help me talk about this book. You can send it to them for free, let them read. If they do not go with the content, ask them their feedback and work on it. Then tell them to appreciate about the book. Then if it's for outsiders, you can do what we call creating a launch team. When you create a launch team, you can have people that way that you gather together and together they will help you talk about the book and share um, what you need to have uh, about the book. Yet that's that's for that. The publishing steps are you have to have insights, you need to have outline, you need to then write your book. The insights about the book you want to write, the content and about your audience. The outlining is the steps that you can use to get your book done. That is, um, you have to write the title, from the title to your dedication, acknowledgement, your preface, your foreword, your introduction, table of content, and then the book. All right? And then the book. Then you start writing. Those are those three steps. Then post it on any platforms that you want to host it. No fuse about it. Yes, if you are targeting Agbudo, you use Pigeon. Yeah, good. Good one, Mudupe. You use Pigeon. Okay? What exactly is the difference between a book and an ebook? Fine. A book, if I should get you where, if I understand you, is simply just something like this. Something like this. This is a book. Okay? This is a book. While ebook is that one you have on your phone, on your tab, on your mobile devices, all right? That's an ebook, electronic book. That's what you call e electronic books. The books you have that they are transferably can transfer from now to Canada. But this thing there is why ebook is sweet. It has advantage and it has disadvantage. The advantage there is your ebook can travel faster than your hard copy. So I've had people message me from different countries. Okay, I need this particular book. I just send it to them. In less than one minute, the book is there. But if it's hard copy, I would have to do with Billy. I have to follow this, follow that, you know, do all those things. And they are not helping matters, okay? So that's one difference between a book and an ebook. So what exactly is the difference between, okay, you are still asking the same question, a real book. and There are, there are no difference. There are no difference. That's the same content, but different. Let me use texture. Different texture. And different formats some people love to read books like this while some love to read ebook they have it, they love having it on their phones you have to know that's how you need to understand your target audience okay my target audience they are targeting the corporate people don't think of putting your book in ebook put it in hard copy that's when they can read it put it in hard copy okay so i'm still expecting any other questions before we call this a day yeah, if you have any other question, feel free to ask. Feel free, feel free. Feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. Feel free to ask me any question. I'm here to listen to you. I'm here to listen to you. So just Feel free to ask your question. Ask your question, ask your question, ask your question. Okay, I'll just give one more minute, and after that, I'll assume everybody gets um, what I've explained. You're welcome, Mata. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. So, after one minute, I'm going to end the broadcast. And of course, pack it up. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ask your questions, ask your question, ask your question. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them and I'm going to provide answers to them. I'm going to provide answers to them. Okay, when are you next live? Okay, um, by Friday. Yes, by Friday morning, this same time, I'll be live again. Talking about another thing, maybe book marketing now. So, yes, I'll be live again to talk about this. How many pages should an ebook have? The pages of an ebook. There is no limit or um, or limitness to it. 
it all depends on you and your target audience. I keep saying that. If your target audience are the type that they don't like reading book, and you go and write a book of 369 pages, nah, well, I, you read it yourself. They might buy because they love you. But when they scroll and say, eh, 369, I don't have that time. Oh. People's attention span these days, they are very, it's very, very, very low. Even my clients advise them, if you want to write a book, write a book with at least 100 pages, at least. For ebook, 60 pages. For me, 60 pages. Yes, it is advisable to have your books in both formats. In both formats. But the advantage of ebook is this. It is easily pirated. Easily. People can copy your book. They can copy the content of your book and start selling. But one thing that I, I do and I help few people that wants to do it too is this. You go to a site called ilovepdf.com. When you go to ilovepdf.com, there's a part there that you can use per lock, per lock to lock your book. So you only you have the password. So for anybody that buys your book, you only send them the password. But then how are you sure that even people that buy will not also share the password to other people? So you just have to just you take out. Mm -hmm. You take out. So that's um one thing about that. So you can have it in both formats. It helps you become you, you spread easily. You know, when you have your book in hard copy alone, you have your book in hard copy alone. You can't you can't take it to all the countries in the world. You can't. No, you can't at all. I won't lie to you. You can't take it to all the countries in the world. But when you have it in both formats, you can definitely, you know, it's very easy that way. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Okay? Okay, I guess that's all the questions that we have. Okay, one more minute. Um, we call it a day. Thank you very much for joining. Um, I can't recall all your name. Um, so do I. Don't let me call names so I won't offend anyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If, only, if you're on this live broadcast, thank you very, very much very much thank you 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 for joining thank you for joining thank you for joining thank you for joining me thank you thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate it all right so the broadcast is ending right now see you by friday morning where we shall dissect another amazing problem affecting others. Till I come your way, Akolade Uluwatoba. <laughs>